Hello, everybody. I'm here to talk about peer-to-peer -peer financing. My name is Raj Grandi. Well, peer-to-peer -peer financing is an old, actually a very old way of financing, but just totally getting reinvented for internet age. So I think you guys might be familiar with many investment options like stocks, options, CDs, life insurances, all of this. I'm going to talk a little bit about the probably the most riskiest investment, that is stocks which I think everybody agrees, means uh, uh, stocks, because of the stock market, it's always uh, hyper-reactive for uh, news cycles, and there is a lot of volatility because of that, and that's why it gets very risky for most people. Now, <clears throat> if you think about the common stockholders, they probably know the least about the company, they are the last people to know about anything that is happening inside the company, and they lose most about the company. It means if there is a company that goes fails, these are the people, they just don't get anything. And if you think about the financial industry as such, it is totally dominated by this middleman, like bankers, mutual fund managers, brokers, and all that. These people, they are taking a lot of our money, and uh, they take very risky investment decisions on that. Now, if that risky decisions are going wrong, the people who actually lose seem to be us. It's not them. They, they always have a very lot of... Uh, 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 they charge very high fees, and they are able to make billions of dollars of... Um, uh, billions of dollars of payouts because of uh, that. But we still keep uh, falling for, the, uh, for their marketing, what they actually do. Now, in the world of peer-to-peer fi peer financing, there is no middleman in that. So this happens all the time. If you are not able to actually fund anything through banks, you go to your friends and you actually fund through them. That's really peer-to-peer -peer financing. If you think about it, it's probably the most ancient form of financing that existed even before the banks ever got invented. You know, And in the internet age, <coughs> Uh, we have uh, lots of websites which are actually uh, powering this. They have very sophisticated risk management tools. They have figured out trying to reduce the transaction costs in it. They are certainly reducing a lot of paperwork around this. Now, we still are learning a lot from the uh, financial innovations that happened for decades, like credit reports, credit ratings, credit insurance, and diversification of uh, uh, investments to manage the risk. Now, this is helping it to become the most disruptive and game-changing investment ideas. The reason being, you're the person who are taking the risk, and you get the rewards. No middleman, that means a lot of savings that goes into your pocket and the borrower's pocket. And there is no volatility as in stock markets. So you will be having regular systematic payments, which I definitely believe is good for your heart. <laughs> Now, let me talk a little bit about microfinancing. This is uh, a financial innovation that's happening to figure out how to fund poor but who don't have any kind of assets for, uh, for collaterals. Now, this man, uh, Mohammed Yunis, what he figured out is like when he actually gave money to five people, and they said that like even if one of the person defaults, none gets any more money that instantly increased the loan recoveries to 95%. That just means that poor suddenly became very bankable. Now, what I see in future is that peer-to-peer -peer financing, social networking tools, microfinancing, all of them getting together, powered by the internet computing clouds, and actually creating really cool uh, financing options for borrowers. Now, we are able to use traditional tools like credit reports and credit ratings for managing our risk and also learning uh, a lot of things which uh, we will not be able to learn through numbers, through blogs and other things like that. Now, the biggest thing which I think is going to be the poor are able to actually get more financing options for their ideas and a low-cost financing for them. That is, I think, very incredible things. Now, there are a lot of players in this field. The important people are, uh, uh, all of these are startups. One guy I think I should point is the Virgin uh, Group of Richard uh, Bronson, you know. 
bottom line what i think is that if you are the people who can handle risk inside stock markets you can definitely handle the risk of peer to peer financing and i think you should, you guys should actually try in in of those websites thank you guys thank you very much